Hi, I'm history. Yes, I'm the same history you have read in history books and newspapers. Yes, I'm the same history you have listened to on radio. Yes, I'm the same history you have watched on the television. But do you really know me? Ha ha ha. I don't really think so. This is because I was never recorded. I was always constructed. Reasons were many, some right, some wrong. But today, on the occasion of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, let me share with you one of the hero that were left unnoticed and left unappreciated or in other words let me tell you about the unsung hero of the freedom struggle today in this video we'll be talking about sarojini naidu formerly known as neet chatopadhyay She was born on 13th February 1879 and was an Indian political activist and poet. She was an important figure in India's struggle for independence from colonial rule. She was given the title of the Knight Angle of India or Bharat ko Kila by Mahatma Gandhi because of the color, imaginary and lyrical quality of her poetry. Between 1915 and 1918, Naidu traveled to different regions in India, delivering lectures on social welfare, emancipation of women, and nationalism. She also helped to establish the Women's Indian Association in 1917. Later, in 1917, Naidu also accompanied her colleague. Annie Besant who was the president of the Home Rule League and Women's Indian Association to advocate universal suffrage in front of the Joint Select Committee in London. Again in 1920 Naidu joined Gandhi's Satyagraha movement. Naidu said in her address in the battle for liberty fear is one unforgivable treachery and despair the one unforgivable sin. Naidu also presided over East African and Indian Congress 1929 session in South Africa. Naidu was arrested along with other Congress leaders including Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru and Madan Mohan Malviya for participating in 1930 salt march. The Indian National Congress decided to stay away from the first round table conference that took place in London owing to the arrest. Later in 1931 however Naidu and other leaders of the Congress party participated in the second round table conference headed by Viceroy Lord Irwin in the wake of the Gandhi Irwin pact Naidu was one of the major figures to have led the civil disobedience movement and the Quit India movement led by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi she faced repeated arresting by the British authorities during the time and even spent over 21 months that is 1 year and 9 months in jail In 1947 after India's independence she became the first female governor of the United Provinces present day Uttar Pradesh and made history and gave us hope that women in the coming years after independence will have a greater role to play in indian politics and stability tum bhool na jao unko isliye suno ye kahani jo shaheed hue जब तक थी सांस लड़े वो जब तक थी सांस लड़े वो फिर अपनी लाश बिछा दी संगी
जमीन पे धर कर माथा सो गए अमर बलिदानी जो शहीद 